Body on my body, baby, man. How y'all doing? How y'all doing, man? Today's video, we're going to be talking about is the Armored Titan worth the 0.1% um, drop chance and worth the grind for it? You know what I mean? Um, personally, I would say yes, it is. All right. The reason why I'm saying yes, it is because I like the Armored Titan. Now that I've got my personal feelings out of the way, let's talk about the facts and statistics of this. All right. Now. This all depends on what you want to do. If you want to be a nice defensive, if you're going for a nice defensive tanky build that uses one shifting and doesn't die at all, you feel me? Um, I would definitely suggest the armor tie-in for you, especially if you want to pick things up and then put them down. You feel me? If you want to grab tie-ins and just throw them, oh my god, the armor tie-in is very, very, very fun, fun, especially with the storm charge move. It makes farming um streaks very easy. Overall, I could just run through them, let them pile up at the at any, and then I just run through it and then kill all of them. And if not, I have my lightning punch, which literally just annihilates everything in, within the radius. And you have courage catalyst, which when you have this on, if you have your resonance, because I have my resonance, right? I have resonated them basically. Um, when you resonate, you basically gain hyper armor, where like um Titans can't punch you out of your M ones, meaning like. If they hit you and you're going for an M1, it doesn't stop you from doing your M1. So, like, you could keep doing your M1s. Now, I don't have a build yet for this time. Once I get a build, I will be showing you how to build. But, yeah. Um, in my opinion, yes, it's worth it. But some people's going to say, no, it's not worth it because the attack time theoretically, is better because it's just a higher damaging time. And in this game, you need more damage. As much damage as you can get so you could clear stuff at a faster pace. <laughs> Thank you. For those that said bless you, if you didn't, I still want to thank you. All right, but yeah, now we're about to look at a little quick playthrough with the um, with the attack time. And I forgot to actually put on the modifier, so it was actually easier for the attack time. But it would have been the same outcome regardless. It doesn't really matter. Uh, as you can see, same thing. Go straight in the middle, uh, rising slash into um, the fret scales, and yeah. Now, with this being said. I'm not saying the attack time is not fun. It's very much fun. I like the attack time. I also have the max resonance also with 13 out of 13. The armor time is 9 out of 13 at the moment. It's not even um at 15 meter yet. Now, let's look at this, right? The attack time has um the basically the sound barrier breaking punch. It has hardening. It's hardening just increases damage. So overall, this time is meant to do damage, you know what I mean? Like, I feel like this is going to be the most damaging thing in the game. E like, even when we're at the end of the game, it's going to still be one of the most damaging tie-in besides, besides the Warhammer tie-in and Annie's tie-in, honestly speaking. Because the female tie-in, based on how Annie used it, seemed to be a combat specialist. So, I could see her being a... Uh, not doing more damage than the attack time but probably on par with the attack time on damage you know what i mean <laughs> so <laughs> yeah w that's that's really it because like we've played with the attack time it's great there's nothing and i'll say this overall wise like um for the way that this game is this game is a grind based game like where you have to grind for stuff you know the attack time it just has better overall scales like it requires less work you know, it's like you could just, um, your uppercut, you just literally do it and hit people. Your mac punch, your roar, your stomp, everything is just way easier. You know what I mean? But, so yeah, theoretically, the attack titan is more worth the grind than the armor titan. But if you want to have fun and you just want to play as the armor titan, I would recommend definitely going for it. It is, a, it is worth it. It's not bad. It's really good. I like it. I personally think they did a great job with the armor time, but that's it for the video, though, man. Peace.